Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and welcome to the program, fuckers. The following is a paid review for my good friend, Mark Goldberg. And Mark Goldberg has been a sponsor on my fridge. Chicago Dog Trainer, chicagodogtrainer.com. And uh, he's a cool guy, Mark Goldberg, cool fucker. He sends me a request to do a new, a collection review, and uh, it's with great pleasure I present this to the audience. Hello Archie, I'm on your fridge and love the channel, especially watching collection reviews. Attached, please find a photo of my collection for review. From top to right, my first Rolex, a 1983 Datejust that I bought new at the AD. This watch and I are growing old together and I love it. Then is my 16613 two-tone bluesy. The next piece is a 16600 Sea Dweller. Uh, followed by the Polar Holes Case Solid End Links. I think this is my favorite watch. Then a 2002 stainless steel Daytona. Bottom row, the filler row from left to right. An Elgin watch. I live in Elgin, Illinois. For 100 bucks, 100 years home to Elgin Watch Company. Then the largest watch factory in the world. A Vostok, which is special because I bought it from our mutual friend Simon Crane mostly, so I could clone him from sweat deposited in the band. A random Seiko good as a beater. A Prometheus Sally Fish also run also fun as a beater. An Omega GMT 50th anniversary. Love this watch. Finally the Omega 2254.50 dive watch. Amiga has made some crap, but these two with sword hands and modified ETA movements are beauties. I have no plans for more Amiga. Thank fucking God for that. I really like Rolex only and mostly sports watches. I covet the Deep Sea Dweller Blue and a GMT Batman. But after that, I think I'm done. Thanks for your thoughts on this collection and for answering the following question. Can we ever be finished with a collection? 25 US dollars on its way. Thank you. And he also, as a post note to that there, he just received, just received, Archie, I'm sure you'll get to my review. Sent the PayPal request uh, 29th of the 7th, but I wanted to let you know I added a one seven 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 one triple seven one zero GMT Master Two. It arrives tomorrow from Kenny Nguyen at Jewelers on Time. Wow. So 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 let's have a look at that collection there. He's got the. Let's go through this collection. He's got a nineteen eighty three date just first Rolex. Cool. He's got a two-tone bluesy, cool. Sea Dweller in steel, cool. Polar Explorer 2, a Daytona. And now you've added a GMT. Fuck, that's a really good collection. Really good collection. Uh, the Elgin... Yeah, okay, I understand. The Vostok. Yep. A Seiko. And some Amigas. Yep, yep, that's okay. That's 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 quite okay. I I think seriously it's it's the Rolexes that, that are the collection, isn't it, really? I mean the um the only Omega that's really worth having is the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. That's the only Omega worth having. So I think you should possibly add one of those. <clears throat> but I gotta tell you, you got a fucking great collection. Does it get better? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think you've got a fucking wonderful collection. 
wonderful collection. And uh, to answer your 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 thing there, can we ever really be finished with the collection? And, and I, I I think realistically, <clears throat> when you know you've done, collection is a journey. Okay. And uh, you see a lot of rich fucks. They just buy anything. They buy anything. They don't put any thought to it. They just buy whatever they fucking well feel like. They're just rich cunts with money. And um, <clears throat> I've, I've had to sell off pieces to fund new acquisitions. I mean, I, I sold my Calatrava not so long ago to buy the gold sub. And that was a bit... You know, it's, it's a bit of a heartbreaking thing to do. I love my Calatrava. Can we ever... Look, you've got to... I think in many ways there, you've got to work out what you really want. I think you're finished collecting when you start selling off pieces because you say to yourself, hey, I got too many. And... It's 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 a, it's an interesting thing. I mean, in in uh, in my friend Gregory Kinder's case, he's got three two tone sports Rolex, two tone bluesy Submariner, two tone GMT black dial, two tone Daytona white dial, three killer pieces, and he started to get rid of the other shit. And I think that's when you start to realize, hey, I don't need so much. I think in your case, there's some of that lesser shit in the collection. You know, I love Simon Crane, but I, I, I don't know if I would buy one of those dog shit watches off him. So that's a question you've got to ask yourself. But um, when is it over? When is it over? And uh, that's a very hard thing. I think in my own case, it's over when you start saying, hey, i got enough watches. That's when your collection. And uh, <clears throat> i got to say this. In all honesty, I've had this realization start to come through the other day with my own collection. I've started to say, well, fuck, hang on a minute. How many do you want? And uh, I'm starting to enjoy less more than more. It's funny, I'm getting older and I used to like hoarding and possessing possessions. Now I get a great thrill of taking my camera out and taking a great shot. It's not the camera I lust after or the new lenses, not the gear. It's the production of a quality photo. The never never-ending quest for a good photograph so these things here are hard to gauge I think the collection is finished when you start to realize hey I don't need to get so many more I can slow down a bit get rid of double ups that's something you have to decide on yourself and uh, it's a journey. Collecting's a journey. For some people, they like adding. In my own life there, I've had many ups and downs, financial and otherwise. And um, it's been a painful journey. Very painful. Painful. I should have kept a lot of the sports watches I had. And uh, when is the collection over? When is it over? It's, it's over when you say it's over. When you're satisfied. And um, the most important thing is use all the pieces. Don't have safe queens. Use all the fuckers. Because we're really only here for a short time. And when we're gone, we're gone. So uh, I, I think myself, the realization is, is when you... I think the collection is, 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 is reached its peak when you start getting more enjoyment having less than more. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III.
Tell me what you nasty, foul-mouthed, vicious fuckers think of that. See you later, fuckers!